Hello, welcome back to our podcast, Only Friends. Hello, hello, hello. It is another week, another day, another, I don't know. There is a fly or like some small bug just better zooming be around in front of us. We, we need a shower. Yeah. We just reek. We it's have gonna, green steam. It better stay over there. I'm going to kill it. No. Don't come for me, vegans. I'm just kidding. I don't really care about flies. I don't know if that's problematic, but I literally don't. Okay, oh, just flew by me. Yeah. They're kind of cute. <laughs> no, we put these traps up in our house and they work so well. Yeah. Flies are just pest, yeah. pestering pests. Probably because it's so hot outside today. They're just like dying yeah. to get inside and escaping into here. Yeah. I know. I'm like, wait, do spiders come in when it's hot outside or cold outside? Do come inside? Yeah. I think they do it when it's cold out. Uh, probably. Because I haven't seen one in a while. And like when I, when I remember I haven't seen a spider in a while, I'm like, it's about to happen. <laughs> Oh, interesting. I know. I feel like I never really see spiders. We do get our Not house like sprayed. Yeah. I mean, ours complex does too, yeah. but like still, it's always when Nolan's gone it was when I mm. see one and then I'm like faced, I have to face it. Face your fears. And it's really scary. Ugh. I hate, like I am not even trying to be dramatic or funny. Like my heart, ever since I was a kid, <laughs> my heart palpitates when I get oh close to it. Like I, I'm every time, like I'm going to have a heart attack. Like, is it worth killing a spider? <laughs> you have a heart attack. <laughs> 13 year old dies 911. from killing a spider. Yeah, no, yeah. literally. <laughs> like the amount of times I would have to wake up my dad in the middle of the night. Yeah, just be like, there's an intruder. Yeah, I'm like actually it's a spider, but like, can you kill it? Yeah. <laughs> like literally an intruder. It is an intruder. I, I bet. Intruding like, my mental health. If you were to do that in a small town, it would be like funny because they have yeah. nothing going on. But I feel like here they'd be so pissed at you. I mean, they wouldn't even come. Yeah. <laughs> They're like an intruder. We have too many of those. And then, the, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't even come here. No. I feel like LA is way too, like we had a lady come in. She was, um, she wasn't she doesn't live at our complex and she's a home. I'm pretty sure like a homeless lady Yeah, and she got into our complex and the cops like didn't show up forever. Okay, but I was we like, talk about this last time. Do we, we say unhoused now? Oh, oh, we did talk about it, but I need to look I don't know up. if anyone like corrected. Okay. I mean, people do say unhoused, unhoused yeah. neighbors is like oh, the neighbors. politically okay. correct. Okay. I just want to make sure that I'm being politically correct. Yeah. So she was an unhoused neighbor, I guess. I'm not laughing. I'm just laughing because we're trying to figure out the name yeah, of it. Yeah, because we have no idea what's going on. Yeah, and it was just so weird because my neighbor was like calling the cops and I was like, she already left. Like, I don't think you need to call the cops. She wasn't threatening oh. us. Like, she literally was asking for water. She was pounding on everyone's doors and like screaming that she had $57,000. Mm -hmm. um, but that's it. <laughs> so I was like, I don't think you need to call the cops. But they still showed up, but it was kind of late. And I was like, if this was an intruder, like, scary, would have taken forever. That's really scary. Yeah. Ugh. It's just so many break-ins here and like I know. bad, bad stuff happening. Yeah. I downloaded, I don't have a ring, but I downloaded that one um, app. I think you have it. The neighbors app or maybe uh, TJ does. Somebody yes. was talking well, about it. Yeah. Just, it's like the ring app for me. Oh, it's like on your ring app. Yep. Oh, okay. Cause there's another app it's called neighbors and it's people, it's like mostly people who have ring. And I was like, Oh, I can have it. Cause I love looking at next door and just like yeah, mine, all those places. Yeah. Mine is my ring app. Oh, and then and it has like a section where you can, yep. It just says neighbors. Oh, I wonder if it's the same app though. It's just like mine integrated into ring when you ring. have it. Yeah. Can I see what it looks like when you open it? Sorry. No one probably cares about this. We can do this later if you want. Um, because my favorite thing is just like reading the town gossip. Like, what do you want to see? I just want to see what it looks like. The neighbors section of it. I just want to see if it oh, looks I just like. Showed my... it to you. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh yeah, I think mine looks like that too. Yeah, I feel like it's just like integrated in there. It's like its own app for too. sure. Um, Scary yeah. stuff. Did you see the clip of that lady who was like? She went to the liquor store and then she was walking back to her car and some guy was just waiting for her there and then no. grabbed her and tried dragging her into video? his car. Yeah, because it was like outside of a store. So they got the like footage from the security system and he's literally dragging her into his car and then you can see she like hits him uh, with her, the wine bottle I'm assuming oh, she yeah. bought. And then he tries putting her in her car. She's like kicking him because she's on the ground. And then he tries shutting the door and just driving away. So then she starts uh, dragging. Oh my God. And some guy sees it all happening. So then he's going to like help her. And it was just like no. truly horrifying. Yeah, no. I like never want to go outside at night now. N yeah. <laughs> After like seeing all those apps and next it's door and so Citizen fucking and everything. Yeah. yeah. And I don't even download like the like Citizen. That's a scary yeah. one. Like I can't have that on my phone. 
but like ring is just like missing dog yeah <laughs> and then like now there's People like packages h- horrifying things that are popping up so. yeah i know mm. how does i don't think citizen is as bad as like um the next door app because like mm. citizen to me like i don't get as many as i used to i feel like i don't get alerted as much so i'm like I wonder what they're and, doing. And next door is more people posting like this person tried to get in and, and like <gasps> posting footage and stuff. And oh citizen is only 911 calls. And oh, yeah. interesting. But I don't know, for some reason that one doesn't really scare me. I think it's more like informative than it is like mm-hmm. next door where you can write whatever you want. And it's like, beware of this person. I feel like to me, that's like creepier than. Totally. But it is weird knowing how many things happen around you. Yeah, that neighbors is, is kind of like that too. Cause people post yeah. all their like ring stuff and they're like, man tried breaking into my house and they'll like have the footage. I'm like, does anyone yeah. know this guy? He's a porch pirate. Yeah, porch pirate. Yeah, yeah, it's like so good like that. that that's out though that people can like identify these people. It's like um, I know it's so scary. Did you ever watch um America's Most Wanted? You probably didn't. You're probably too scared. I feel like as a um, kid, I do- I've seen episodes. Yeah, for sure. and they would like show the photo and be like, "If you've seen this person, yeah. like that, even the voice on that show was horrifying. I know. I hated that. What a time. And yes. Was, ugh, yuck. Yeah. What was I thinking of on Ring? I feel like the thing with that that's a little scary is like once you post someone like trying to get into your house and other people will also know how to do it. Oh. So that kind of like freaked me out a little. Uh, what do you mean though? Like they'll say like how they did it? No, like because if you just see someone like, you know, doing how they get into the window. Oh, I see what you like mean. like another person might see like, that. Yeah. <laughs> and then try to do it also. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't really think about that. I and like then I also people could go to just like w- see how they're gonna see like where the person's cameras are and then yeah. like go back a second time and That's do a hit true. so that kind of i guess it's like a double-edged too. sword then yeah because it's like well not a double-edged sword but like there's a good and a bad i don't yeah. know what that's called it's almost like i'd rather just give it to the police than like blast it on the internet yeah because i don't know who i'd really even be helping well i guess it's like oh I saw this person on next door or on the ring or neighbors and I see him across the street. Like I'm not going to go outside right now. You know, I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, or, that. or someone could be like, Oh wait, this person tried to, but it's always so you can't even like tell. What the people <laughs> I know look you're like. right. It's like, especially me. I'd be like, I don't know. Pixelated. Yeah. <laughs> like not clear whatsoever. I'm literally like, <laughs> how would I know true. what this man looked like? Unless I had like some sort of system that I could put his picture in and like how they do in movies where they like zoom in on the yeah, face and yeah. then like, they fix the pixelation of it. Like there's yeah. just no way that you would know what the person That's looks true. like. Especially me. <laughs> I'd be like, <laughs> yeah, it's Chris Evans. Mostly I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly me. And yeah. also it's like, you're right. It is pretty pixelated, but like we got a pretty clear image of that lady that came into ours. True. And I, and I posted it just saying, it wasn't like mean at all. I was just like, has anyone ever seen this lady? Like what's her story? Or like, she was like trying to, she was like pounding on all our doors. I just want to know if she's like around here often. Yeah. And somebody like people were commenting that they had recognized her and oh. stuff. So I thought that was just interesting. Really? But yeah. That's sad. Yeah. Well, that's all I have to say about all right. ring. Yeah. We'll see you guys next week. <laughs> that's all we talk about. I'm done. <laughs> you know what? We're done. <laughs> it's been eight minutes. <laughs> um, how was your weekend? Have we discovered any new hobbies? <sighs> No, unfortunately not. <laughs> I was wondering. I was like, I wonder if she discovered anything new. No. And it's funny because like a lot of people were commenting really interesting. Not in, Well, sorry, not not interesting, but like you should do this. You should try this. And yeah. like my therapist will say the same things. I'm just so quick to be like, oh, I wouldn't like that. I but know. it's like, it feels true though. Like, I just don't think I would like to crochet. Like, I don't know. Nothing like, really interests me. You never know until you me. try. And then it's You're like, right. you can say you tried. And even if you hate it, you can be like, well, I tried. Yeah, I guess. Because what happens if it just blows your mind and then you love it? <laughs> like Wordle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Wordle is my hobby, okay? But yeah. I can only play once, once a day. day. <laughs> For five minutes. Also, did you play it today yet? Or Taylor no, Wordle? No, I haven't. <sighs> I mean, we won't talk about one. it. I, I don't actually, know. I don't like when people preface it by anything. So I think that I know what Taylor Wordle is because I accidentally, oh. in our Discord, Oh, they posted in it, but I didn't... It, it was Megan who lives in Ireland and I didn't realize, but it was last night. Oh, I didn't realize that the time difference. So they were like, spoiler for today. And then I just assumed it was yesterday as in today. And then I was like, that wasn't my word. And then I was like, oh fuck. Yeah. (laughs) She's in a completely different time zone. And that's definitely, (laughs) um, the tomorrow's if, if it's the same word, 
And I feel like I you'll know like what I'm Becky saying. Becky or something. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I it, guess spoiler for Monday Patreon members. Yeah. But, oh, sorry. <laughs> um, I mean, not the worst thing we could spoil. Yeah. I was like, wait, Becky, but okay, then no. I remembered her shirt or whatever. She used to wear a shirt all the time. But yeah. I was like, I get, I got it right. But I was like, what the fuck is Becky? I'll <laughs> like, pretend like I don't remember and then do it today. <laughs> yeah, that'd be me. I'd be like, I don't, I literally do not remember maybe an hour after I do Wordle. I'll be like, what was the word? And I have to go I back know. and look. I don't remember either. Someone did make a list though when all of that, um, Tail order, tail, tail, oh tail my God. Ordle. Tail ordle stuff happened. Tail Cause ordle. people, it happened to me too. Like, oh, the glitch thing? Gloss. Yeah. So there was like why. a glitch. Maybe they were getting hate for it. <laughs> I don't know. But some people had it like five days ago and then I had it like three oh. days ago. So it's just like a weird random but thing. But it is the same happened. for everybody. What? It's the same for, I mean, yeah, it's always been the same for us. So it's not like different for everybody. Yeah. And mm. so then somebody posted, cause I think there's, what is it? Like day nine or something. <laughs> Someone know. posted like what all of the words were and mine were the same every day, except like on day three, their word was Kloss. Oh, that's so, so weird. Really weird. Maybe it's just like a glitch in the algorithm or something. Yeah. Not that I know anything about algorithms, but it sounded like the right thing to say. I and do. I stand by it. <laughs> yeah. I haven't missed one yet. I haven't either. They're Although pretty... when I did get Kloss, I was like, what the fuck is this word? <laughs> oh, really? That yeah. was me today. I was like, no, no, I knew what Kloss was. I mean, um, Oh, getting like you couldn't to figure it, it out. Getting to yes. it. Yeah. Well, I was same like, too. floss. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, when did she sing about floss? Yeah. Because like, I guessed gloss. Yeah. And then I was like, like lip gloss. You I know. I want to say I guessed gloss too. You got gloss? What? You got gloss one day? Mm, no, never mind. There's a different day where I guessed gloss. Because it, it was it, like it, something it, with it. like an L and an O. And I, I, yes. did, I was like, gloss. And then it wasn't gloss, yeah. obviously. And then I was like, oh, duh, what a dumbass. It's Kloss. Yeah. Weird. It's very strange. I didn't get Kloss that day, right? No, I didn't. No. It, well, it was weird. I was like, when did I guess Kloss? Because I remember guessing Kloss. I got it the first thing in the morning. And then I'm in a group chat with two other people who do it. And two of us did it in the morning. And I was like, this was so hard. For, I think I got it on like five or maybe six even. And I was like, this one I really struggled with today. And then he got it in like two. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and... Then later in the day, our, our next friend finished it. So then we could finally talk about it. Uh -huh. And one of them was like, how could you not guess style with like oh, the yeah, ending letters Y-L-E? And yeah. I was like, mm, those weren't my letter. I My word was class. And they were like, what? And then I was like, what? <laughs> You're like, <laughs> and it was a whole thing. Is this, I felt are we bamboozled every day? Yeah. And so then I refreshed it and then it reset the whole grid for me, Weird. which doesn't happen unless it's the next day. Yeah. And then I tried typing in class and it said this word does not exist. What? And then I did style and it was right. That's so weird that it happened to other people too on different days. I know. What is going on? Give us the tea. It is amazing promo for that podcast though. I don't remember the name of the podcast. If you, yeah, I don't remember the name of it either, but it is like at the top of Taylor Doll. So it's oh, like presented really? by blah, blah, blah podcast. I don't think I've literally ever noticed. That. Oh yeah. It just says right at the top. So I'm like, damn, That's like so funny. Yeah. Is it a Taylor Swift themed podcast? I'm pretty sure. Let me give them a little shout out. Okay. Yeah. Oh, brought to you by Holy Swift podcast. Oh, so I guess it is funny. I've never, <laughs> ever looked at that. Yeah. I mean, I, I think I've heard of the podcast before, but I, I've never given it a listen. Well, so good for them. Like, yeah, it's such a good a idea. idea. Such a good idea. Holy Swift. And we should give it a little listen. Yeah, we should. Right now, play for 20 minutes. She says, we made your fave game, Taylor Doll. You truly did. It's much harder than Wordle. It is because, and yeah, we always talk about this, but it's like, because it's so specific, it makes it harder. And it's, You'd think it'd make it easier because it's like, I only have so many things I can really guess. But like when you have like my, the thing I hate the most is when I have three letters, but they're all yellow. Oh my God. And I'm like, I can't vision this word right now. Like it's, sometimes I have to write it. Like sometimes I'll get a piece of paper and write like five lines and try to like do it that way before I really guess <laughs> because I can't. Oh my God, that's I, so intense. I know. And I was doing that when I was playing the archives for Wordle because it was like, wait, that's my hobby. A paper. When, what time of day are you doing your Wordle? I usually, when I wake up and like pour my coffee, I'll do okay. Wordle and Taylor Wordle in the morning. Mine is like, I'm in bed. It's after I'm done like scrolling the gram and stuff. In the morning? Like, yep. Oh, okay. And then I just like do it and then yeah. go on with my day. Yeah. But I'm just like, it's like a fun thing to wake up and be like, what is this? Totally. What's it going to be? I haven't done mine today yet. 
I yeah. just wasn't in the mood to sit there. Yeah, that's bed. okay. I was like, I need to get out of bed today. I want to say, I don't like when people uh, give like a preconceived vibe of the wordle. I know. But I will say for me, I was like struggling with it. I got it, Ooh. but it was a struggle. Okay. And I saw it was trending today too. And I wonder <gasps> if it's because it was like more difficult or something. Wordle was trending? Yeah, I saw it was trending on Twitter. Oh my God. It was not for me. And I've been oh. refreshing. Okay, I don't know. Maybe it was like a tailored to me thing. But I don't know. But um, we did, yeah, we went to Emo and I on Friday, which was so much fun. We went with like a huge group this time. Oh yeah, it was really fun. Plain White Tees played. I didn't stay for Hawthorne. I like really wanted to, but I was like, I can't be here any longer. I, yeah, I didn't watch it. I was downstairs at that point. Oh, okay. Um, but I saw a couple stories of them. It was probably good. Yeah, I saw stories of them. I don't know whose they were, but I think Emo and I reposted them or something. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I'm like, I don't even think I saw anything. I, I could hear teeth. them. Well, that's all that matters. <laughs> but like, <laughs> just like that, like echo. Yeah. Cause it's like two floors down. Yeah. Um, but I was like, oh, that sounds nice. But I, I'm, I'm sitting now. <laughs> I'm done. I'm, I'm sit sitting. <laughs> yeah. I don't blame you. <laughs> um, but that was fun. I watched, um, I feel like we knew TV like after, but I feel like we, I've got some interesting oh, yeah. things watched. Um, I went to like this little game night thing on Friday. It's like, um, Friday? I mean, Saturday. I'm like You had time to do two things. We went at 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, holy shit. Drunk as hell. <laughs> I also felt, so, did you feel hungover at all on Saturday? I was just exhausted because we, yeah. I didn't go to bed till like 3.30. Yeah. I was so, so, so tired. I just, yeah, I was. But I wonder if our hangovers are different. Like, I feel like I am like more of a wuss because you like experience them a lot more than I have in life mm. or something. Because I think it is like, I just always have a terrible headache and I'm just oh. so tired. And that's really it. I'm not like puking. Like, I don't yeah. feel anything else. It's just like a horrible headache when I walk around. So I don't want to be walking around oh, no. and then I'm tired. So I'm like, maybe she feels the same way, but to her, it's like not a bad hangover because she's like, yeah, no, I don't worse. get like headaches. I also, I would say like the last like two or three hours I was there, I was just like drinking water. Oh, yeah. I was just exhausted. Yeah. Ugh, and that's just what being 30 is. No, now. truly. Just and awful. then on Saturday when I woke up to watch TV, our TV was fucking broken. <gasps> Wait, did you get a new TV? Yeah. Oh, I saw the box, but I thought it was maybe old. Like it was oh, sitting in your... We went straight to the <laughs> store. So we're like, Wait, what are we going to do? in the do? living room? Yeah. Oh, I totally missed it. Well, I feel like the TV's Does just, it just look, I didn't know if it was bigger or something. It is, it, Okay, because yeah. the box looks really big. So I was like, damn, that must have been a big TV, but I didn't realize it was like Oh my God. Current. It was <laughs> like I almost had a panic attack. So I was like, what are we going to do? What are we going to do all day? What are we <laughs> like open do your like laptop. I guess I watch Housewives on my laptop. Do you? <laughs> no, I'm oh. saying it as you. Oh my God. Yeah. I, so then we, I turned it on and then it just was like blinking black on the screen. Oh. I could control everything. You could still see like all the icons really faintly. Uh huh. And then we tried turning it off, turning it on, like making sure everything was plugged in. But the really, TV. What happened? It just, just gave out? Old. Oh. Yeah. Sad. since like 2014 so oh she like lived a really good life yeah she had a fulfilling long life and then of course tj's like we need to get the new oled like 80k for <laughs> i feel 70, like he was talking about it like thanksgiving and i was like i don't know what the fuck you're saying i <laughs> like i'll get anything i'll get a 100 vizio yeah like, like i'll I do anything <laughs> i need to watch my Just, show yeah i'm like what are we gonna do all day like truly yeah <laughs> So that was our big, uh, especially being tired. Yeah. It sounds exciting. Was having to buy a TV and then mount a TV. And oh, you mounted it too? The TV. Yeah. I don't know how to, did you mount in under oh, seven well, minutes? Let's, let's be clear. I did not <laughs> yeah, mount TJ. anything. Um, yeah, he did everything. Speaking, oh my God, speaking of mounting. So I have so many pairs of sweats and just like sets and whatever. I've given so much away. I've sold a bunch, but I have a lot that I really like. And so I decided to buy um, a couple of rods that mount into the wall. They're like, they look like you're in a store kind of. Like they're like heavy duty, like black, like rod thingies that you just like drill into the wall. Mm -hmm. um, so Nolan installed them in my guest room. So I have like, a little bit of a wall that's like the perfect size for these. I got one on the top and then one on the bottom and it, it like looked perfect and great. And I walked in like two hours later and the bottom one is just like hanging out. And I was like, what the fuck? And no, we looked up reviews and the reviews for these rods on Amazon, they have like almost a five star, but I clicked the one stars and so many people were like, I did everything right. Like I use a little anchors oh, no. and they ripped out of my wall. So now I'm like, F I don't know what to do. Okay. I, probably gonna get a task grab it just be like can you do it better than us i don't know can you show me a picture because i'm not understanding yes, i actually rod have means. one screen screenshotted 
I'm very confused by this. Like it looks like this. Oh, okay. Like you're hanging it with a hanger. Yes. Yeah. Got it's it. like a clothing rod that you put a hanger on. It basically it. looks like something you'd put in a closet. Yeah. It's like a ve- like an industrial, um, what are those called? I'll put a picture in for the video, but if you're listening, yeah. It's yeah. like a pipe. It says industrial thing. pipe wall mounted yeah, yeah, yeah. garment rack, space saving. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, and yeah. I, it looked really cool. I was like, oh, this looks cool in here. Like it looks like nice. a little like like Natalie's closet vibe, but like way less clothes. Yeah. Um, I think she has like heavy duty ones. I was like, how do hers stays? But hers are probably like industrial. Yeah, fucking, I don't know. I've never seen. Oh my God, crazy. But yeah. So speaking of mounting, I was like, nice. no, oh, I finally, sucks. and I like, that room is like clean finally and looks good. I, don't know I wonder if it depends on what, like your wall is made out of. Probably. But so many people were like. Because like TJ, like the, like those kinds of shelves that you just, the floating shelves. Yeah. Um, he put it on like a certain part of the wall and then it just like falls out. I think you have to find like the beam. I don't know. For them to really hanker in. Maybe. That's why I was like, maybe like a task rabbit would know. Cause like no one was like using a stud find. Like he was doing it all like correctly, I would think. But I think it's just the type. Yeah, stud find. I also think what they gave us wasn't heavy enough. Like wasn't good enough for how heavy it was. And like sweats are like kind of heavy. No, it was like, 30 bucks for two yeah so but it was like had great reviews that's why i was like oh perfect and it's like the perfect size Ugh, yeah how annoying truly we're canceled yeah and then we saw we saw jackass last night it was oh my God. the last one yeah how was it so good I'm it was really excited funny for them to put it on i know my house tj I know. asked to go to it yesterday and i was like I'm good. <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, we should have gone. Yeah. Well, it, it was funny because his, um, Nolan's friend Joel asked to go and he was like, it's in Highland Park. And so we met outside, but then we went to this like bar across the street and it was the same place that we went for mm-hmm. that Hunter's event. Yeah. So it was funny. We went to this bar that's like also a bowling alley. And then we went over to the movie theater and I was like, wait, I went to both of these places like right before the pandemic. Like yeah. that was our last event. Oh, was it? I don't I even think remember. So. I think it was trauma. in like February of 2020 or something. Ugh yeah That's but it was really good little theater yeah it's like very old school like very small yeah so cute um the movie was really good though i laughed out loud I a needed lot to come on to my television what yeah. who makes it mtv mtv yeah <sighs> dick house productions mtv Ugh, you don't your app sucks <laughs> <laughs> their app your sucks? streaming service sucks oh have you tried yeah. to use it recently not recently, but I can't imagine they've improved it. It's like yeah. that one in Bravo. All of the like network TV shows apps are just oh, fucking trash. I've never really. Well, I tried MTV like back in the day and you have so to have like so a login bad. for cable. Or yeah. Whatever. But then like they, it'll like play a commercial and then, then it like fucks. Yes, up. you're right. That always fucking happened yeah. to me. I wonder if it's True better. Nightmare. I don't know. Let's now look. I have trauma and we'll never go back. <laughs> well, good thing. Nothing is Bravo's on MTV. It's still the same. And it's been really? like, like 10 years. So I can't imagine MTV Damn. is like putting money into that when they like, should though. I mean, that's like the future. The future is streaming. Totally. I don't know. It is, but just put it on Netflix. No, literally There's so many movies. I need them to just put available to streaming. Like I still haven't seen Spider-Man. I haven't seen Jackass. There was another one that came out recently that I really wanted to see. I'm just like not a movie theater girl anymore. Yeah, it's, it's too scary. No, yeah, I agree with you. And yeah. also, no one shuts the fuck up at movies. I've been Ugh. to three movies since like quarantine. Yeah. Luckily, Jackass was one where like everyone can be like laughing and talking kind of because it's like it's like you're watching a vlog, like a big yeah. vlog or something. But I swear to God, these fucking annoying like teenage boys were across from us and all through the previews they would make these like grand like they thought that they were being funny like it'd be a commercial for something and someone like falls dramatically and they'd be like oh no i hope she's okay like they were doing that and i was like i will walk i will be a karen and be like you need to shut the fuck up i feel like the last time you went to the movies too yes you had an experience and i'm like like did everyone forget how to like go to a movie theater and i genuinely think that's true i don't know oh yeah because we saw the anthony bourdain documentary thing and Mm -hmm. there were people fucking talking oh that's Right. And then there was another one. I don't know. Just like everyone needs to <laughs> shut up. Uh, it makes me so mad. Cause I'm like, I feel so bad even opening candy. I'm like loud and people, they talk and they're, it's like, I can hear you whispering. Like you think you're being quiet and you're not, sorry, I'm being really annoyed right now. This is why <sighs> it's just better from the comforts of your own home yeah. and why they need to put everything on streaming services. Yes. Cause like, what's the fucking difference? I feel like you're not even really making money at movie I theaters know. anymore. I don't know. I mean, I guess it is a difference between like, a whole family paying for movie tickets than like having a 
Yeah, but then you just one make month it came in more expensive. Like how I they agree. did. Um, what was that movie that Disney did? Uh, oh, Mulan. No, no, no. Oh, it was no, that the was Disney Scarlett Plus. Johansson one. one. Oh yes, and, and she was, was like trying to sue scandal. them or something. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I get it. I think that there should be options. Yeah, like go to the movie or like pay what you would pay to go to a movie. It scans your house and sees how many people are watching yeah. and pay for all that. Just like I don't like know. Siri will know, and then uh, get on with it. Yeah, like figure it out. The future is not in theaters, although like theater is cute to go to, especially that one because it's like old and yeah. feels fun. But just like, yeah, not the vibe not for me. Yeah. But uh, how's your weekend besides going to get a TV? <laughs> um, great. I watched a lot of television. It was wonderful. Anything on your new TV? <laughs> uh, yeah, I watched The Tinder Swindler. <gasps> oh, I watched that too. I watched we'll talk about that after. Single Drunk Female. Oh, I, I've been interested in that one. I caught up. Is it funny? I like it. Okay. I wouldn't say it's like. It's like cheesy funny kind of. Mm, I wouldn't say cheesy. Oh. And I wouldn't necessarily say it's like a funny show. Oh, I thought it was a comedy show. That's what I was asking. I think it is, but I'm not like laughing out loud. Okay. I There are a few times where I've been like, huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But it's good. Yeah, I like it. I think it, I would say it's like, I'm trying to think of like, the show. it's definitely comedy, but like one of those like dry humor yeah. comedies. Yeah. I don't know. I think it was good. I liked it. I didn't know that the whole thing wasn't out though. There was only like four episodes. And I was oh, like, no. what the fuck? The worst. Um, and then I also, it probably honestly is funnier to people, but I think cause I was so tired, maybe it was harder to laugh, maybe. but it's like supposed to be yes. funny. Okay. Now that I'm thinking about specific I mean, things, I never laugh out loud unless it's like, gets me good. Oh, really? I never laugh out loud if I'm by myself. <laughs> I know. I wish I, I wish I did. Um, and then just feels better. Oh, I caught up with how I met your mother. Josh Peck was in these episodes. Oh, it's always oh, so yeah. weird to see. I know. It's like, I know you. Um, again, I think I liked it more because I was very tired than I enjoyed <laughs> okay. the like, first two episodes. Okay. Um, and I think that was it for Saturday. Really I selling the jokes. Oh, I didn't that even was fun. know that those were on. Oh, my God. Really? <laughs> no. The Winter Olympics. It's always like the best. I love watching all the like tricks. Yeah. The snowboard tricks, the ski tricks. Yeah. I watched this one event. I have I have no idea what it's called. And skiers... I don't know what, I think it's called like the Nordic jump, okay. actually. Their skis are so long, like as, like probably like seven feet long. I have no <laughs> idea. And then they just literally go down a slope and then try to go as far as they can soaring. And they dead the ass like flying squirrels. <laughs> oh, no, like, that sounds like it's fun. It's so weird. Sounds horrifying. And I was like, how like is this like a, a sport? sport? <laughs> and I feel like every Olympics, I'm always just so surprised by things I had no idea existed. Yeah. Oh yeah. I could imagine. But it was really funny. I was like laughing out loud. So I was like, what the fuck? Like, how do you flying. judge this? Like, this is so weird. Yeah. Is it like by length or how far they go or like Yeah. But then they judge form? them based on their form okay. and there's no like, they don't do any tricks. They literally yeah. just soar through the fucking Interesting. Air. It was I, very sounds weird. really fun, but really scary. Oh, uh, sounds horrifying to me. Like <laughs> if you see them, it's just so bizarre. It looks really terrible. Like if you were to fall, dead yeah i don't yeah no interest well we'd be dead yeah maybe, <laughs> maybe not them they're like professionals maybe me a little you a little less because you can't ski but not like that that's like not that's i know not but you skiing. at least know that's like just fucking soaring <laughs> you're just soaring through the air without a parachute and they just land on uh-huh. their feet yeah how does it not hurt their ankles i couldn't tell you i guess it's the snow so is like wild. soft i, don't I know. think it's called nordic ski, i mean i don't ski. know i think that's what tj said i don't remember and then i watched some curling I really want to go curling just to like do it. Is that the like big puck thingy? Yeah. (laughs) Like what is it? It's I I I I have I don't know anything about these things. I forget what they call it. A big um, puck, big pucking game. I think it's like a forty-five pound like little thing, and then they just push it down the ice and try to get it in a in the target. Oh, so it's like hockey kind of. No, <laughs> it's like there's not like te- a target on the ice. Okay, and then you try to get it to land on the oh, center of like the bullseye. That sounds like fun, actually. Yeah, but then you play against people, so they can knock your thing oh. out of the way. I wonder the if there's like they call you can those. just play it. Can you just like play it here if you wanted to? 
Oh, I'm sure there's like leagues. Yeah. I don't Curling think that, leagues. Like, yeah. I don't think that like we could just go and we just go, go. to an ice rink. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure they have. I told Jason to do it for a video because I'm pretty sure they have like a curling rink that you can go and like learn. Oh, that'd be funny. <laughs> yeah. Um, But the Olympic sports are just so cool. I didn't watch any figure skating yet or like ice skating. Oh, I I really like ice skating. Yeah, it's good. Me trying to relate to the Olympics. I like ice I skating. Like ice skating. <laughs> no, every time I go, I'm like, I, this would be fun to like really learn. But I'm too scared because I feel like I'd break my leg or something. And I don't have time for that. Yeah. Also, like watching the ice skating, I just get so anxious that they're going to just drop them. Because they're like, oh, yeah. Like the partners one. Yeah. Ooh. I know. it's They're so talented. Yeah. Because like Crazy. when I watch like the snowboarding tricks and stuff, I'm like, okay, they're all geared up. They have helmets. They have yeah, like I know. all the shit to protect you if you fall. But like ice skating girl you're done yeah i mean that's hard ice yeah people die with much less going on like on their fucking driveway Ugh, truly <laughs> me every winter almost actually in omaha oh my god so scary you gotta get some boots <laughs> some, <laughs> some good boots, boots well, i don't traction. go to omaha anymore <laughs> What a shame. We also had like the steepest fucking driveway. It's funny because like you never, well, I guess you did go there, but probably wouldn't experience this. And like our, for some reason, our driveway to the street was such a fucking cutoff that like so many people had like bumper issues. Huh? Like Kate, I remember Caitlin's dad drove me home once during like a snowstorm oh, no. and it was so, the snow was so high that you couldn't see like where the driveway and the street were and his bumper just fell fucking off. <gasps> like it was awful and i we just got used to it because we're like oh you just like turn really hard and like you don't hit it at all yeah i don't know sorry that just reminded me of my driveway oh no yeah and everyone well, would... r.i.p to all the bumpers yeah sorry everyone we eventually got it fixed so oh that's good yeah <laughs> <laughs> anyways <laughs> love that for you yeah me too and now i don't even live there so yeah who even cares um that was all i watched on saturday and then yesterday obviously salt lake euphoria i haven't watched Salt lake yet righteous gemstones oh Oh my God. I'm like, I've been watching the big, the celebrity big brother. Oh, is it good? I am enjoying it. I will say I've never watched big brother before from what I can remember. Like I probably watched it in passing. Like, yeah, I've my, never watched I bet, it. Like, my mom watched it or something when I was younger. Um, so I was so fucking clueless as to what was going on. It is so confusing. Cause it's like live sort of. Uh, no, it's, it's, it's not live. They, are in a house and they have live feeds, uh -huh. but then they edit together okay. episodes, I'm pretty sure. Okay. So like, but that's not the confusing part. It's like the games and then how there's like head of household and like the veto and like, there's just all these like rules that I didn't understand or know what was going uh -huh. on. So last night there was the fourth episode and I feel like I'm starting to like understand. Oh, okay. Finally. But I genuinely think whoever creates the games for this show like has to be on hallucinogens while they <laughs> really it, they're, just they're like, so bizarre oh really they're so bizarre. Oh, i didn't know that i literally thought it was just like watching them live their life i didn't know they oh, had to do no shit. they compete oh yeah make, they compete make in challenges to like not be eliminated oh okay yeah I've i should watch it what is on do you know like do you remember what it's on like Hulu or? Oh, 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 I am watching it on, it's on YouTube TV for me and okay. direct TV. Oh, I don't know. So there, I watch it. Um, oh, like on either one direct TV stream or, yeah. oh, I thought you meant yeah, like, yeah, yeah. there's like a direct TV channel on YouTube TV. No, no, I was no, like, no, I don't yeah. think I have that. Yeah. <laughs> um. So I just like record it and then it's on, but I've been enjoying it. Yeah. Cause it's interesting. Cause Lamar is on it and Travis. Sh Shana. Uh, her name's Shana. Yeah. What's his name? Travis Barker. I cannot yes. think of his last name. Yeah. So like, I was curious if there was a weird dynamic or if they talked about being ex Kardashians or whatever. Um, yeah. Lamar has talked about Chloe a lot. I've seen little clips of it, but I didn't know if that was like his main no. theme or if it was like passing. He just like said it one night and it was really sad. And then Shayna was like so supportive and sweet. And then I was like, oh, I like her because she's just like basically online a little like Meany. <laughs> oh really yeah and so i was expecting to not like her and for her to be this like crazy character and just talk shit about the kardashians but she's been really nice however i won't spoil anything for you but she did some shifty stuff and then i was like mm, i don't oh. think i like her anymore oh uh oh i don't think i like her anymore uh -oh. she I'll also was like, I don't remember if Lamar knows me because they don't, I guess they don't know who else is going to be in the house. Oh, so like when everyone walks in, 
it's like a surprise yeah. allegedly i don't know how much i believe that with the yeah. celebrity cast because i feel well, like they would like, be like i need who to am know. I gonna be in there with yeah i feel like realistically but they all act like they didn't know so she said that when she saw lamar walk in she got like really anxious because she said that the she was on um i think it was the wendy williams show she said mm -hmm. she called chloe a donkey <gasps> Like years and years and years ago. Yeah. And so she was like, oh my God, like, I hope he doesn't remember that oh. I said that. And then she's like, I'm not going to bring it up. And I'm like, but you are. <laughs> well, you talk to other now. people and like now people are going to know you said yeah. that. I know. That's what I don't understand about reality TV is like, why are you talking, even like, why are you talking shit about your friend and you know they're going to see it on TV? Like, I, I feel like that shit always happens. So weird. Uh, okay. Sorry. I need to read this ad because I totally am spacing. Um, this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. We talk about BetterHelp a lot on this show, and this month we're discussing discussing some of the stigmas around mental health. For example, some people think you should wait until things are unbearable to go to therapy, but that isn't true. Therapy is a tool to utilize before things get worse, and it can help you avoid those lows. Also, many people think therapy is for so-called crazy people, but therapy doesn't mean something's wrong with you. It means you recognize that all humans have emotions, and we need to learn to control them, not avoid them. Um, I completely agree with that. I've been going to therapy for so freaking long and i always say this but it's definitely the best investment you can do for yourself for your brain and just like your whole mental well-being i feel like it just puts you in a good place um to have someone to talk to once a week um at least um better help is customized online therapy that offers video phone and even live chat sessions with your therapist so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to it's much more affordable than in-person therapy and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours give it a try and see why over 2 million people have used better help online therapy this podcast is sponsored by better help and only friends listeners get 10 percent off their first month at betterhelp.com slash only friends that's b-e-t-t-e-r-h-e-l-p.com slash only friends um, so what do you think of the Tinder swindler? Uh, I feel as though it'll be controversial, but I genuinely think those women are dumb as fuck. <laughs> well, okay. I did. I said that at the beginning with the one girl who was like kept giving him money and like flew on his private jet right away. Um, I was like, okay, who, who would let allow all of this to happen? Totally. Uh, okay. But he's definitely taking advantage. I mean, he's definitely at fault. No, a thousand percent. I think he was a hundred percent emotionally abusing them. Um, however, I it's just like you gotta like cut it out at some point. I know. I, I was really confused. Um I also wish I knew the timeline. Like they weren't like giving a real clear oh, timeline of their relationship. So I was like, have you known this man for a month or like a year? Because yeah. it's super unclear. Yeah. Because if you were like dating him for a year and he's like asking you to move in, I'm like, okay, that's normal. But if it was after two weeks and you're doing it, like, I don't know, that's on you for like being super naive and just like. I know. I was like moving in. A hundred percent. If you don't know what we're talking about, there's a documentary. It's on Netflix and it's about this guy who is on Tinder. And basically um, it's like all in Europe, like a bunch of like Europe. Mm -hmm. And he talks to these women and they start to date, I guess. And he basically scams them into, they give him so much money and he basically spends it on the next girl, if that makes sense. I don't know if I'm explaining it very well. Okay, so the thing that was so frustrating to me was he, on his Tinder profile, said he was the son of a like diamond billionaire yeah like entrepreneur man like photoshopped himself into family photos and all of this like absolutely <laughs> insane stuff so he then would tell these women that if like you know he wasn't like texting them back he's like i'm so sorry like our enemies they're it's after all us. about like, his our enemies enemies, yeah. our enemies and he's like i need you to give me ten thousand dollars because like, they please. shut off my credit cards because my enemies are coming mind you he would see these women like two times yeah. Like they didn't have, yeah, like, uh, but like who knows over how long. Yeah. I hated that they didn't say like the, the length time of time. Yeah. Because I'm like, this is important to me. That's true. This I didn't even think about it. This tidbit of information is important to me. So he would basically then use the money that he was getting from women on other women. It was a Ponzi scheme that he was fully running with another man who he claimed was his bodyguard. <laughs> so like he would get a shit ton of money from one woman and then 
fly them on like private jets to really convince him that he was this super rich billionaire man Mm -hmm. um and then the way he got money from them was like convincing them that his enemies were following him (laughs) or he was in danger or the girls were in danger and it was just like so unbelievable like the whole thing was just fucking insane and he did this to like hundreds and hundreds of people yeah it's like it's insane and he he didn't even go to jail or any like well he did for like a well, few months yeah but not because of like this yeah and he's but it's still odd, just, but i mean i get it it it's like not illegal no it's not i know that's why that's why it's so like stuff. mind fucky because i'm like damn you like really did that like you scammed all these people i know and um i'm gonna talk about the ending so if you want to skip like i don't know we'll put in the timestamps, but i'll like give it away a little bit but like the last lady that was in the documentary was like actually so bad oh my god i was obsessed yeah. with her so she worked in um uh uh clothing uh, what is it called like fashion um like prada balenciaga oh, like designer store. designer yes i like sorry it's my whole fucking dyslexia right oh my god you don't have to apologize i, I know just i just feel dumb what you were saying. no not no <laughs> I'm more apologizing to Felix. I'm like, um, what is the word? I'm like always doing that. No, you're fine. Um, she's like a designer. She works with designer clothes. So she was like, he really needed money. So he does this thing where he's like, they took my cards. Like, I don't have anything. Like, could you please send me $10,000? And then he'll basically what he does is he'll give them a check for like double what they, what he owes them. And then they try to cash. It doesn't work. And then he kind of just like cuts them off. So he was doing that to her. And he was like, I need. He wouldn't cut them off though. He would then That's right. yell he's- at them and be like, Every action will have a reaction. Yeah. Like so just weird. then gaslight them into being like, I don't know. It's not my fault. I gave you the money. It's not my fault. The bank's not yes, doing it. True. He would never back away from it. And I was like, this guy's a fucking psychopath. Like the, the balls this guy has. Yeah. And so then people, by the time that the, he, they found out what he was doing, he would even then still take their phone calls and be like, you're a liar. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, like, no, crazy. Um, so she basically, she knew this was happening. Like she got word of him scamming people. I think it was an article or something that came out. Well, cause one of the, two of the women, they went to the biggest newspaper company in, I believe Norway. And they did a whole write up on it and like posted everything. And then it went like super fucking viral, but nothing ever happened because they couldn't really catch him. And then one day this woman who was dating him also came across the article and so then she found out about it and then basically was like i'm gonna fucking get him because she had given him a hundred and forty thousand dollars insanity and he's still denying it he's like no that's not true it's like okay buddy like what Mm -hmm. do you mean it's not true so she basically faked being like i still love you like also support you like i know it's not true even knowing it was yeah and she he was asking her for money and she was like well you have so much designer clothes like why don't i take it back with me and i'll sell it and give you the money because i know how to do all that because i work in that field and so what happened was that she loaded up these three big ass suitcases with all his designer clothes sold it on ebay and just kept the money and was then like, oh, stopped responding to yeah him. stopped he responding the amount of messages he sent to her was absolutely insane. Just like voice memos and they have it all. Yeah, so it was like WhatsApp, super interesting so they just to listen have to. Have everything. Yeah. yeah, they you listen to his voice messages. I don't know. It's like so int- I love a documentary like that. Like it anything so pop good. culture or like internet is my favorite. Yeah. Oh, it was so good to watch. It's just so crazy that he's just like out there probably still doing it. And yeah, they like, just well, I just saw they banned him from Tinder. Like he can't use Tinder now, which good. I'm like, okay, that's good. But I went it to his. Inst- it took this to do it. When I I'm know sure so many people were filing complaints. I'm sure, yeah. But I I went to his Instagram that I think I watched it on like Wednesday or Thursday of last week, and uh-huh. I looked at his Instagram and it was still there, like whatever. And then I went to it again a couple days ago, and he's deleted almost every photo. I don't know if he reposted them, oh. but then. In his bio, it says, I'll say my side soon. Please respect my girlfriend. Give me a fucking break. I'm like, what is your follow- side? What I went to mean? go look, but it, it was uh, private. Oh, he privated it. Okay. Mm-hmm. And this was on Saturday. Okay. Yeah. He must have just like. It was like, how annoying. Yeah. I'm like, you're not going to get away with it after this. I mean, hopefully more people but see he it. he will. But- I just like feel like he will. He'll keep getting away with it. The thing that sucks about. Okay. Of course, I feel so bad for these women because he definitely was like emotionally abusive like not never physically from what they yeah said. i don't think it so. was just like he fully was emotionally just abusing bamboozling them. totally but the reason that they were attracted to him in the first place was because of all of the glitz and glam yeah like they were fully swept off their feet because he 
posted that he was like very wealthy and his lifestyle was very wealthy. And that's why they wanted to be with him in the first place. And so it's just like, you almost like (laughs) did it to yourself. Like you, yeah, I guess. You, I mean, I get the appeal. Like, I'm not that way, but I get the appeal of like a rich person. But like, when it comes to like, make he like made credit cards in their name and shit. Like, that's fucked up. Oh, I know. Like, it's just like, well, they would made credit cards in their yeah. name and then let him use it. Yeah, I mean, I'm on board. Like, yeah, I don't understand how somebody could be so naive about it. Yeah. and and I don't know like what the exact circumstances were that they were like oh this is fine like you probably met this person a couple times yeah I don't understand it's also just like you never saw him like I just don't get how you couldn't just even if he's like yelling at you via whatsapp like I just be like I'm done no I know like you're not gonna fucking see me yeah you're in like a totally different country I don't know I some some people that's why I need to know the timeline yeah because I feel like that would help me understand more like if you were in like a relationship with this man for like a year I that would help yeah I get it because then you feel like you know him a lot totally and like you trust him more but like this girl literally flew on his private jet after they had dinner to like go to a totally different country which is just so dangerous and like honestly like Like even her friends were like don't do that yeah yeah but it's you know it's like the glitz and the glam and we're gonna it's like once in a lifetime yeah Thing. with like a fucking murderer probably like just yeah bad decisions when it started there i was like mm, not surprised <laughs> this guy's this happened this, so guy this girl's just, just a- gone a fucking plane with this man she doesn't know yeah i know and i was like holy, i forget something else happened at the very beginning that i was like that's pretty crazy that she just did that but i don't remember exactly what and the whole thing i was like this is crazy like why are you doing this and yeah. allowing this to happen. Well, the other one just flew to it go meet him somewhere the one who's like more of his friend or yes. whatever yeah which is like what well and there was one where she was like i was saving up money to buy an apartment but i thought he needed my help so it i was, sent him all that it was that girl yeah the friend And i'm just like i just cannot re- like no i literally was like trying to think i'm like if something happened one of my friend like no i know i'm like friend. unless i knew them so well yeah. and like knew the situation was dire like of course but it's like 100 percent. huh it's not like this person was even your best friend like this is just like a fun yes. friend that you had i'm just i don't understand it's so such a loser like he literally had the same photo and video of a security guard in an ambulance oh, that he yeah. sent to all the girls to be like my enemies attacked us like i don't have any money like please send me money and i'll give you twice like double it back or whatever and it's like how how do you are you living your life having an instagram right now knowing this is all out there like i'd be so fucking embarrassed oh can't imagine yeah it's like i definitely sympathize with the girls because he was for sure just like a crazy abuser like yeah i think think it's okay that we think both like yeah he fucked them up in a really bad way but also i don't get how they were just like sending him all this money Uh, yeah i just like can't i i feel like it's also because i'm just like not that person like if someone asked me to move in with them after like a week yeah that's true and to like go go apartment shopping without them like that's just so weird to me like you're taking this person's money to live with them but they have no mm-hmm. real say and like what it's gonna look like i don't know it's just all fucking weird yeah i mean some people just live that way and it's no, just like Woo-hoo! i know <laughs> yeah but like they only live that way because of the money uh-huh and it's like you never saw this person why are you even moving in with them it's like you just yeah. are interested in the whole money aspect of the relationship yeah like that's I mean, how were- it's perceived to me yeah no i agree i think it's just like I feel like it was the idea of it all. They were just like, oh, he loves me and yeah. like blah, blah, blah. I feel like it was all of that just totally. combined. It's and- also so funny. Like when they showed his pictures, I was like, what a douche. <laughs> I would immediately swipe whatever way it, <laughs> left, it would be to not left, I think. Yeah. match with this person. Yeah. Like just so showy. Like every picture was him like wearing <laughs> Louis Vuitton loafers. It's just, just not like, our vibe. Oh my like, God. I don't like when people flex their oh my like, clothes or money i'm just Truly. like okay I don't that's know. a red flag and you should have known yeah <laughs> well for some people it's like a green flag i know like, Woo-hoo! <laughs> exactly it's an exciting life out there for some people well i hope that they've started to get some of their money back i hope so too and one girl what was it like over two hundred thousand two hundred fifty thousand dollars she owes I still mean, no, that was like the one who was gonna move in with him and all that shit yeah she, i would say she was probably that's the one who just got on him a plane on a plane night. with him the first night yeah. with him. It does sound like a romance novel. <laughs> I, I don't blame the, I mean, I would never do it, but like I could see why someone would be like, wow, okay. Dangerous sure. though. 
It's just <laughs> she like, said, sure. There's just so many things. Like on a first date, who's like, I'm the heiress to a diamond fortune. It's just like, okay, douche. <laughs> yeah. And also he wasn't. Like he totally lied yeah. about his last name and everything. He, yeah. he like made people a, he, who are doing that aren't actually telling you on a first yeah. fucking date like they are worth billions of dollars. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Unless they're Jeff Bezos, he probably does that. <laughs> well, that was that show. Yeah, I that did, was. Like, I loved it. Yeah, it was just the whole time entertaining was just like, what the whole the time. Fuck? Yeah, because like with the women, I was like, "You're dumb," and then he would like be so terrible, and I'd be like, "You fucking suck." <laughs> yeah, and then it was like, "Am such I the a, asshole?" <laughs> truly, it was just like a whirlwind of emotions. Yeah, it's like I feel bad, but then I feel so angry for them, but then I feel so upset that they they were so naive. It's just I know. like it's just such a hard thing. I did say that at the very beginning. I was like, I don't get how this girl is just like sending him all this money all of a sudden. I, I was like, how do you trust? But then I like kind of stopped thinking about it. And I was like, this is crazy. I know. <laughs> guy's a psycho. Yeah. I just cannot believe he's still on fucking Instagram, like I posting know. stories and shit. God. It's still like glitzy too. Like all of his posts were like nice cars. And I'm like, what? Why are you? I don't know. Yeah. Well, at the end of life. it, they were like, here he is again. Yeah. Like, driving his Ferrari. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, Jesus Christ. Like he just does not care. Yeah. And it's like, he's not getting that money from anyone other than probably more women that he's doing this to. Yep. I don't know. Crazy. How, like. It's really good. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta go watch it. Yeah, I feel like, we just like talked about the whole thing. You don't well, need to watch it. I feel anymore. as though if you're listening, it's probably just people who also watch. I hope it. so. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and then I watched Euphoria. That was oh yeah, traumatizing. Oh my god, it was such a crazy episode. I was just not breathing the whole time. I when she's okay again. Euphoria spoilers. If you haven't watched it yet, when her mom said Rue told me. And then you could hear Rue. Jules. The, or sorry, Jules. And then you could hear Jules in the house. I was like, <gasps> oh my God. And then from that point on, like the whole fucking episode was fucking nuts. I mean, Ooh. it was nuts before it too, but. It was, it was very heavy. It was crazy. And there's a lot of theories about this lady's house that she was at. They think that maybe Rue actually was there longer than one night because of how much morphine she gave her. Cause you know, she like woke up at yeah. the end and left. People are like, I think she was there for like way longer and like she's trying oh. to like sell her into some like sex slave oh or something like that because she kind of alluded to that when she gave her the suitcase in a couple episodes a couple episodes ago she was like if you don't return this yeah. money like i will sell you or said something like that yeah and then she mentioned like you're a woman like you have something that people yeah. always will want and will pay for so people are theorizing that i don't really know we'll have to see what happens i hope it doesn't go that way that would be i mean horrifying. yeah me too but it's yeah I wonder how many episodes there's in that whole show. I feel like not a lot. I feel like it's less than 10. Okay. Cause next week is already episode six. So I, like it's getting up there. We'll I'm like already see. God, how many like were, it just started? Yeah. We'll have to see how many were on before like yeah. previous season. Yeah. Cause I have no idea, but what a fucking whirlwind. I knew, I knew I was like, it's coming out this episode that oh the she's fucking yeah mate. i died i was like maddie the is gonna literally peel her skin off the second they walked in i was like this is where it happened yeah fuck it was so and like just when it was like an intervention at um maddie's house mm -hmm. too or is it cassie cassie's yeah, house. cassie's house i was just like this is crazy like oh my god i thought I, maybe it was a dream at first i was like she dreaming all of this like i don't understand you just have to take it day by day i, was I like, know that's fucked yeah shouldn't have spoken well, when she said that, I was like, maybe she's dreaming and like she's someone said that or, you know, she's heard that so many times. It's like in her brain, like, oh, but obviously yeah. it wasn't a dream. It was so intense. Crazy. And then I wonder if people's opinions of Jules has changed at all because she basically like told her like because I mean, people were like mad at her or whatever. Ooh, yeah. And honestly, like, I don't really get like I know last week I was like mad at Rue or whatever. Like, I just don't give a fuck. Like, it's a show. Like, I don't yeah. care. I don't. I, I guess I never really watch shows. And I'm like, that's a bad person. Like, I just don't think that way. It's like, yeah, I'll watch Breaking Bad and like they're doing crazy shit. But like, it's a show. I just don't think of it in real life terms. Yeah. It's so, like, I really don't care about like, yeah, Nate's a bad person in the show. But like, I don't care to talk about it. Like, he's a bad person. Like, it's a fucking show. I don't get it. I get that. I feel like I just... I don't know. Like, I, I I, don't like him. I mean, yeah, I don't either, but I'm not like, I'm not on, I don't know. People are on Twitter like, 
talking about how Jules sure. and Rue are bad people. I'm just like, it's fucking euphoria. Like, of course there's gonna yeah. be bad people on the show. Like what? I don't get the it's discourse also like, about it I feel it like all. people forget they're supposed to be teenagers. Like, why are you trying to hold fake teenagers True. accountable for fake things that aren't actually happening? True. And like, if you're really that mad at Jules that episode, like you really think she like has the- She's a fucking teenager. Yeah, like she has that knowledge, like that world knowledge of like, you shouldn't be around an addict without like I'm sure yeah. Yeah, I don't know I'm just like I just don't care enough like, to be sure like I don't she like shouldn't this have been, but also it's not her fucking responsibility to like hold Rue accountable Rue is accountable for her own actions yeah like, obviously she's there to like support her and be her friend and at the end of the day Rue is going to make decisions for herself and of course those decisions can hurt other people yeah but it's also not Jules's responsibility that if there's a fucking beer next to her that Rue won't drink it. She's yeah. a fucking 17 year old. Yeah. Who's just like trying to do her best and like navigate her own shit. Yeah. I mean, yeah, she has a lot of stuff going on too. So. And she's allowed to be upset that yeah. she drank, even though there was alcohol. Like, get over it. People on Twitter, <laughs> like, literally were, like, going on rampages. I know, I'm like, I'm you're acting like, like this is a reality show. Like, like it's literally relax. euphoria. Like, just watch it and enjoy it. I don't know, yeah, whatever. Yeah, like, I don't know. Sorry it's not to have a freak out. Just so annoying. Public I just, like, out. can't stand, like, the... Like, I feel like that's on the end of, like, the extreme, like, woke accountability, yeah. like, cops. Yeah. And I'm just, like, not for that. Especially when it's fictional. No, that's <laughs> what I mean. I'm like, real. it's a fucking show. Like, like, you don't have to, like, call out every bad person. Like, it's a, they're, they're supposed to be a bad person for the show. And, like, yeah. I get you can talk about it. Like, I feel like I'm really raining on people's parades. But, like, it's fun no. to talk about. It. I get it. But, like, I just don't get it because I don't think that way when I watch TV shows. Yeah. I mean, I think it's, like, fine to have the, like, discourse yeah. with, like, your friends. But to then make it, like, a fucking <laughs> political statement on Twitter is just, like, <laughs> I know. I'm like, well, everyone can just calm do down. Yeah. And just, like, being mad. I don't know. I don't get it to that extent. I just, like, don't get. I didn't get the jewels thing because I'm, like, it's it's not real. That Yeah, exactly. It's, like, why don't you just let the show play out? Yeah. And, like. And even not try, not try to like make a 17 year old accountable for an addict. Yeah. Like, like I get, I get giving awareness to like, it's not, you know, it could be sure bad to be, you know, be drinking alcohol around an addict, but like, that's not the way people talk about it. It's like, I don't know. I just, yeah. It's, it's also every, characters in a show. Yeah. It's also that situation is so different for everyone. You know, like I'm surrounded, uh, granted they've been on their road to recovery for mm -hmm. like, all decades or like more than five years not like you know straight out of rehab yeah but also it's everyone's it's different just like not your responsibility yeah it's not jules's responsibility yeah and that's just the hard reality of that it really is and that's on that <laughs> it's funny because i was watching um single drunk female and she is an alcoholic oh okay and her mom like poured herself a glass of wine and then like poured one for her daughter and she was like mom i literally am like about to be 30 days sober i can't drink that and she's like i just thought you could have one glass oh. <laughs> and then it's literally like no like that's not how it works yeah so it's just interested interesting seeing like the different some people just have, don't know too yeah, yeah. i like, mean i would well, never i would never hand someone in no i wouldn't either drink. <laughs> but like and i'd also be like is it okay but most of the time they're like just keep doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. I don't want to feel like I'm like burdening you or like not allowing you to live your life because like my life is based on like the decisions I've made. Yeah. And like, I'm working on me. I'm not working on you and that's not your responsibility. Yeah. No, that's a good take. I was also, I know you haven't watched it yet, but the Pam and Tommy show. Yes. Um, I was talking to someone on our discord about it and it's, I'm really, really enjoying it. It's apparently not apparently but like everything that they show is like what really happened and I'm like shocked by it. like I just didn't know anything about them I feel like they were a little bit before our time it, it all took place in like 1995 so mm -hmm. we were alive but like didn't know what was going on in pop culture at the time it's just wild I don't know I'm really enjoying it I again I just love pop culture stuff too so mm -hmm. it's really good like Seth Rogen obviously made the show but he's also in it and um the what, I always forget his name. Obviously, the Ron Swanson guy, um, Nick Offerman. Mm -hmm. Nick Offerman's in it. Um, yeah, just like people that I didn't know were going to be in it. We're in it. So, Fun. yeah, I know. I'm excited to watch. I'm waiting for all of those to come out. Yeah, you got to let me know when you start. 
It's on every Monday. So I think there's one tonight. I think it was Tuesday. I thought that too, because it came out on Tuesday. But when I looked it up, because Nolan and I, when's the next episode? It says Monday. That's so weird, because I went to see how many were out the other night, and it said like next Tuesday. I thought it said Monday. It was like next episode Tuesday. I'm going to be so sad. It was like the fourth one, I'm pretty sure. Let me look just to see. Okay, well, while you're looking, I'm going to thank the sponsor of today's video, Pill Club. Life is stressful enough. Access to healthcare shouldn't be. Luckily, getting birth control and sexual wellness products is one less thing you'll have to worry about. With the Pill Club, you'll never have to make a trip to the doctor or wait in line at the pharmacy ever again. They provide access to care from the comfort of your home and delivery to your door in discreet packaging. The Pill, the Pill Club offers birth control subscriptions prescribed by a medical professional and delivered straight to your door for free. The Pill Club carries over 120 FDA-approved brands and ships to all 50 states. Most brands of birth control are free with insurance or Medicaid. Otherwise, prices start as low as $7 per month without insurance. The Pill Club delivers both birth control to your door for free in discreet packaging along with fun self-care gifts and goodies. What's more, their licensed medical team is just a text away to give you the best reproductive health care. Sign up for birth control in just five minutes. Skip the office, visit, and waiting in line at the pharmacy and join the club. Right now, when you go to thepillclub.com slash onlyfriends, the Pill Club is offering a $10 donation to Besider.org for every OnlyFriends listener who becomes a patient. Your donation will help low-income individuals get access to birth control through Bedsider.org. That's thepill.com slash onlyfriends to get your first first oh my god first birth control care package and donate to help more women in need of affordable birth control remember the pillclub.com slash only friends you must use the link to make a donation love birth control delivered straight to your door yeah any excuse not to leave the house honestly yeah it, okay i looked it up it says new episodes drop every wednesday what i swore it said monday when i looked and i was like monday okay we- well it absolutely said tuesday <laughs> on it says Hulu. wednesday what does it say on the actual app itself because you can look and then it's like next episode i don't think i'm logged in on my phone. i wonder if it's um i wonder if it's okay no wednesdays at 3 a.m eastern time so that's still wednesday our time yes i don't know who knows but are you gonna look it up on hulu upcoming <laughs> air date Two nine, yeah, weird, huh? Now I'm sad. I have to wait two more days. <laughs> the oh, problem with it I being how many weekly. episodes there are going to be. I think it said. Actually, I don't. I looked it up and I forgot. But I think it said it was like eight or ten, or something like that. It wasn't like super. That's so annoying that there's yeah. only four out. Yeah. Okay, well, let's get into a little This Day in History. Yeah, this is a long one. It's already been an um, hour. Okay, This Day in History. One of Carly's love shows pen 15 came out oh cute i haven't watched the last season though 2019 i just like i couldn't finish it what do you mean the last season i like tried oh yeah i just i liked the first season and then the second one i think there's three seasons yeah i'm yeah i'm pretty sure i just it makes me too uncomfortable oh okay i just like lost interest yeah i liked it when i watched it i think it stopped being funny to me and it started being just really uncomfortable Uh, yeah i've heard people say that too because like you know there's so much that you can relate to i feel like a lot of the way that they portray their characters is from when we were like teenagers so we can relate to it a lot more than i would think some people like especially guys Mm -hmm. um but then i think it just got too fucking weird oh like the one the newest one just like in general, I'm like, because you guys are like grown women and like I'm feeling uncomfortable about you like kissing children <laughs> oh. and like stuff like that. And it's just like weird. Yeah. And then like hooking up like th- that was all this season was them like experimenting with like sexual oh. things. And I was like, this is too much. And then <laughs> I forget. I don't even know their names. But then when like one of them sort of like s- started masturbating, I was like, I can't watch. Oh, this. yeah. When, yeah. They're like supposed to be like 13. Yeah. I was, like I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> Um, another Carly thing, break up with your girlfriend. I'm bored. Break up with your girlfriend. Yeah, Ari, yeah. Ari Stan, that came out in 2019. And then Better Call Saul came out in 2015. 2015? Yeah. Damn. I know, isn't that crazy? Doesn't seem like it was that long ago. Is that so, show still on? Or did it wrap uh, up? I don't think so. I know, I don't, I don't think know. so either. Did you watch it? Uh-huh. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, and then another one that was just relevant to me currently was Fool's Gold came out in 2008. And I just watched that on Netflix like a month ago. I love the One Direction song. <laughs> <laughs> 
Do you know what the yeah. movie is? Uh-huh. Um, it's probably about somebody digging up in their backyard, finding gold, and yes, their backyard, and um, they try to use it as currency, and there's a big fool for it. And they buy they buy something for someone with it, and then they find out the place they bought it from finds out that it's not real, and then they go to jail, and they're a big fool. Wow, that could it be more accurate to the plot? Line. <laughs> what is the plot? It's um, Matthew McConaughey and Kate Hudson. They are basic. They're like a couple that got divorced. Is it a romance not or romance movie? Like a rom com. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, but like totally comedy drama. Okay, like I. W- I- I wouldn't say it's like a full rom-com to be clear. Like okay. we're not talking about like love actually here. Okay. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Um, like an action rom-com. <laughs> um, and they are it's like Spider-Man, like a separate couple or they were a couple, but then they separated. But their whole thing was that they were trying to find like this fortune under the ocean. Oh, based on like not their backyard maps and stuff. <laughs> oh, and then okay. it brings them back together. Oh, okay. Yeah. Pretty good. Okay, let's wish some happy birthday today to Bella Porch. How old do you think Bella Porch is? 22. She's turning 25 today. Oh. And then we have Michael I forgot B. she was like in the military, so it makes sense. Oh, yeah, that's true. Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> um, Michael B. Jordan, he's so fucking hot, is 35 years old today. Oh. And then another hottie, uh, Tom Hiddleston. How old do you think Tom is? Mm, like 34. Oh, my God. No? No, he's 41. He's a, Oh, he's I mean, I don't know anything about him. Yeah, he's so good. He's so good. Oh, <laughs> I love him. I was just trying to guess around Taylor's age, to be honest. I think that's why it was weird, because he was much older. Yeah. Not, like, much older, but, like, you know, almost a decade. Yeah. Okay. I bet you guys will never guess what we're going to talk oh my about God. in today's news for celebrities. I'm actually excited because, well, I'll let you start. <laughs> Well, first and foremost, let's finally wish Kylie Jenner a congratulations God, yay, on the birth so of her child <laughs> that we just never knew was going to come. I just like don't care. Sorry. Oh, wait. The battery. Oh, we're good. We're still at 20. It just looks really low from back here. Um, So she finally had her baby and it is allegedly a boy. She put a little blue heart and like a picture of the little baby's hand. Of course, it was born on 2222. Um, because why not? But now all of these things are coming out that were like clues. We should have known it was being birthed on this day in her, um, she did a 73 questions video with Vogue mm-hmm. and I forget what month it was, September of last year. Oh. She was wearing a necklace that said two, two, two. Oh, so she just like knew <laughs> it's so bizarre because it's like, of course that obviously has a meaning but like yeah. i feel like most moms would never it's like so official. like soon to be moms would never get anything with a date that they tell you that your baby's going to be yeah. born on mainly because like that's normally never the date but yeah two, it's gonna say. like you never know what's going to happen like i feel like that's like a bad omen yeah. for like miscarrying or like you know anything bad um so i don't know my theory is that she probably just had like a planned um c-section i was, was gonna just, say like, hoping for the best like how would you know i mean i'm not a mom but i would know that like probably not going to be due the day that they tell me yeah that's so interesting she probably just had a sketch she was like okay we'll schedule the c-section for like yeah the week that i'm due and i'll pick february 2nd yeah that makes sense to have like a cool date and so yeah. that means that it is born the day after stormy Oh, I didn't know that. Yep. Oh, well, congratulations, Kylie. We still don't know the name, but people are speculating that the name is Angel. Why? Because um, so many people are commenting on the picture being like, what a sweet angel. Like Stassi oh. Baby commented, Angel Baby. Oh. Makeup by Ariel. Ariel said, can't wait to, mate, to meet the little angel. Chris, Angel Pie. Okay. Kim, there's an angel emoji. Yeah, there's something going on. Angel Baby. <laughs> there's something going on there. Um, I don't know. Angel. All right. And I just don't, I don't know. I'm just not a big baby person. Like, just I'm just like, like, okay, cool. I'm happy for you, but. Not I, like a big fan of the name. Yeah. We'll see if that's the name. Like an angel. Come here, angel. Like, I think it's like a, a name Stormy. that people have, but like Kylie's baby's name. I don't know. Stormy and angel. <laughs> Sounds like, like a, Stormy's the bad one. And then angel, like, yeah. angel and Stormy. Yeah. It's kind of funny, but. Not really. Very strange. Okay. Yeah. But now for the main event. Here we go. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> We're going to get into this Kim Kanye drama because of course. Okay. I will say I really don't know much about it except for all I really know is that Kim called Kanye out. Like I read that and then I only. But do you know why? 
Um, because of the TikTok stuff that he said. Yeah. I, I feel like I know like briefly things that happened. Like I know okay. he got her phone number from somebody. I just okay. don't really, I need a, I need a little rundown. Okay. So basically last week, I believe it started on Friday. Kanye West posted a screenshot of their daughter Northwest's TikTok account to his Instagram. And I can find the exact caption, but all have since been deleted because okay. obviously yeah, he posted saying, since this is my first divorce, classy, <laughs> I need to know what I should do about my daughter being put on TikTok against my will. Um, And then that is what Kim finally responded to. Honestly, like, I don't know how she does it because there's just been so many like fucked up things that's been I put agree. like online. Like I would have lost my mind. No, I'm glad she said something finally because it, she seems very like, He's just like I get I get the breeze of not wanting to respond because then you're like just feeling feeling it totally. publicly. But I feel like there comes like, a time where you have to. And yeah, I'm, like when you're doing it with your kids, like the like all the other like the Julia Fox stuff's just like annoying. And like yeah. the Pete Davidson stuff's annoying when like Kanye talks shit about him. So I get not addressing that, but then it's like the when he comes after and like saying that you're holding your kids hostage from yes. him and like all of that, like I would never be able to not like say something mm -hmm. to be like that's absolutely not what happened however i think that she's just being a good parent and doesn't want it to be like a spectacle because of her kids yeah because they're gonna see this eventually one day and then like that sucks i just think it's really irresponsible to for one do that publicly like for anybody a thousand percent. and knowing how big you are and how influential you are over like literally the fucking world and how many people follow you like why are you putting your child on blast yeah and in the the mother of your children yeah and like it's almost like he's asking for everyone's opinions it's when it's just, like you don't you need to figure this out on your own like, i don't even think he's actually doing that i think he's just doing it to get a rise out of her so she'll finally respond to him yeah. because none of the other shit he's doing is That's working true. so he's like i'm just gonna use the kids as it's fucked up a way it's to really get fucked her up. to respond to me i just think that it's like so one if like you didn't want people to see her tiktok account then like this isn't helping mm -hmm. you have like millions yeah no now i was gonna look at millions it millions of followers on instagram and everyone probably didn't even know she had a tiktok account to begin with second it's like the most innocent shit on the planet like she's posting like cakes yeah and, like you and know and i'm sure it's monitored like well, i'm sure i'm sure it's she isn't called scrolling in north yeah i'm sure she's not like sitting by herself scrolling through tiktok searching things no. and also all the comments are off so yeah you know she's not getting like all these fucking crazy comments that yeah. you know influencers get totally and however on like the other end of it i do like sympathize with him because it's like if i didn't want my kid on social media but then like my husband allowed them to be like mm -hmm. i get why that would be not good yeah however he literally it's, like uses his children for like promotional things for like doing stuff at his concerts it's not true, like your yeah. kids are like hidden from the internet that's true. And it's not like your daughter is out here like making bad things. She's just doing something that's like cute and silly. Yeah. And it's like if you really didn't want her to be in like the spotlight or the public eye, like you would have stopped it. Like you wouldn't be doing it either. Yeah. And it's like for some reason, if just like TikTok crosses the line for you, yeah, that's fine. But like, don't go about it that way because it's a hundred percent. I mean, it's I feel like it's fucked up to the child. Yeah, totally. Because she's the one who's the one who wants to do it. Yeah. Kim was like, we can do it, but it has to be my account with you. Yeah. I have to be with you when you make the TikToks and like set all these ground rules. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know either. But so then Kim posted on her story, finally responding to him saying, Kanye's constant attacks on me in interviews and on social media is actually more hurtful than any TikTok North might create. As the parent who is the main provider and caregiver for our children, I am doing my best to protect our daughter while also allowing her to express her creativity in the medium that she wishes with adult supervision because it brings her happiness. Divorce is difficult enough, but our children in Kanye's on our children and Kanye's obsession with trying to control and manipulate our situation so negatively and publicly is only causing further pain for all from the beginning. I have wanted nothing but a healthy and supportive co-parenting relationship because that is what is best for our children. And it saddens me that Kanye continues to make it impossible every step of the way. I wish to handle all matters regarding our children privately, and hopefully he can finally respond to the third attorney he has had <laughs> in the last year to resolve any issues amicably third attorney, but like, good for her because he was yeah. a fucking asshole the first time no i agree and then of course kanye was all upset because she said that she's the main provider oh yeah 
And he was like, what do you mean, main provider? America saw you try to kidnap my daughter <laughs> okay. on her birthday by not providing the address. Um, it says, I'm just wishing my daughter. Oh, this is the old one. Okay. He like said that and then like went off on a whole thing. Basically just saying that Kim tried to kidnap their daughter. I mean, this whole public thing it's so is embarrassing. so bad. It's so bad. Like and this is worse than like influencers fighting on Twitter. Like yeah. it's, it's a big, it's a big fucking deal that they're doing this with, I mean, Kanye. Yeah. Specifically. And Candace Owens tweeted oh, yeah. stuff about it. And then he posted that on his Instagram. She said, there's no eight year old in the world that needs social media. Go color. Which is just like, okay, you fucking dumbass. Go oh, color. Kim is wrong on this one. The psychological effects of social media on the young girls is real and documented. It's actually Kanye that is trying to protect his daughter in this regard. And Kim is spinning this as obsession and control. There are cr other creative outlets for kids. The thing is, this isn't like a first time instance where she's referencing it as obsession or control. Like this is like a long time coming because of everything that he's been doing these past few months, like yeah. in terms of their children that honestly are obsessive and controlling, like buying the fucking house next door or yeah. going on a rampage on social media because you couldn't get an address, but it they never said you couldn't go. I agree to an extent, like, yeah, she shouldn't have like an Instagram or control right. of like reading comments and like seeing all the negativity, but I don't think that's the case here. Well, it's like everything aside, like even if it was the worst thing for a child ever to be on TikTok, yeah. like, sure. But like, don't do this so publicly. To yeah. me, that's just like the most <laughs> fucked up thing you could do because for yeah. your, because of everything, like your children, most famous fucking people in the entire world, like- it's not okay to do that. And and I feel like she's going to grow up and be like, I don't know. I, I don't know. Because it's, then Kanye fucking really sad. quotes this, posts it and says, thank you, Candace, for being the only noteworthy person to speak on this issue. There's a lot of celebrities scared to say something in public, but they'll text me in private and say they're on my side. He said, I will no longer put my hand through a blender to hug my children. My mother took me to Chicago when I was three and told my dad if he came to Chicago, he would never see me again. So I bought the house next door. I dreamed of a world where dads can still be heroes. And it's like, literally, what are you even talking about? I don't know. I just, I'm and so sick of this public thing. I'm 100%. so sick of it. It's like, it keeps going. And he said, I want to bring my kids to my hometown of Chicago to see my basketball team play for 7,000 people. And Kim is stopping that. How is this joint custody? Like, yeah, I'd fucking stop it too if you were acting like this on social media. I mean, yeah. Like, there's, then for every action, there's a reaction. Uh, yeah, literally. <laughs> it's from the Tinder. And then he did like a few more posts that on, he said like, I built them. Like, just like said, like weird stuff. Oh, he said, oh, he said, I gave the family culture. All right. And then he just keeps going on. They've all since been deleted. Apparently he saw the kids like yesterday, I think. But it's just like so embarrassing. It makes me feel so sad for the children that he's making this huge spectacle out of it. When yeah. like all Kim has wanted to do is just like have a easy divorce and then figure out what they're going to do like mm -hmm. in terms of the kids but yeah. like he can't even do that he can't even sign the divorce papers he can't like just stay off the internet with their business which like clearly she's not publicizing and it's just so sad that it's gotten to the point where like now she has to because yeah I, I don't know. I just feel like this is exactly what happened in the lead up to their divorce. Like she just, you know, wanted not only to protect the kids, but to protect him too. Mm -hmm. And I, it's so sad because there's also the, his whole like mental health struggle. I know. So it, that obviously plays. It's hard. Into it's this like, cause he could be going through. Yeah. But like, to me, it's like, it's not an excuse. No, like, absolutely you know not. What I mean? Because but he's refusing is, to get help. Yeah. And as that, far as we know anyway, but yeah i mean what I mean, we're told yeah. i guess but this has also just been happening for so long i mean well, for so long i just mean like i don't know half a year or something him going yeah. on podcasts talking about like i haven't even signed divorce papers like i'm gonna get back with kim and all this i don't know it's just like just good really god like it's so draining <laughs> just listening to it all and like witnessing it all happen it just it's sad i feel like if i were kim i'd be like i hate that this is all in the public fucking eye and he can say anything he wants and like i've been keeping my mouth shut i just think that's yeah. really sad someone commented saying kanye's never gonna see his kids and it's all his fucking fault but we're never gonna hear the end of how it's the system to all this shit dads it's not the system you're just an asshole damn yeah i don't know which is like 
I don't disagree in this. I instance. wonder if that's something you could hold up in court, like talking about. Yes, the kid online. And that, that's and probably stuff. making it worse for him because yeah. Kim obviously knows like that her kids love their She's dad. She's a liar. <laughs> she doesn't want them to like not be able to see him. But if he's yeah. like acting erratically, like how could you? Like I would, I would feel uncomfortable leaving my child in the care of someone who's like being erratic and like I not know, thinking yeah. correctly. Like that's scary. And just knowing that they can post anything at any time, and it's like personal stuff totally yeah it's, it's just so sad because of course she wants them to have a relationship like yeah. any parent would yeah it's so sad it's crazy i hope that kanye gets help and is able to like just not do this anymore i know i'm like he, honestly he doesn't need social media <laughs> like if anyone here doesn't need social media it's him i saw a theory that um because he's like finishing his album right now oh and so he's like i'm not i am off my phone but he hasn't been off his phone because when he's finishing his album, he's like, take my phone. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to use. So he's phone. trying to say somebody else is saying these things. No. Oh. So I saw a theory that said. <laughs> I was like, what? When he makes his music, he comes off his medication. Not like speculating. This oh, is just okay. something I saw online. And that's why typically when the albums mm. are coming out, we are seeing these like spirals like when he did that I whole twitter see. thing like that was when yeah. he was making music too but also like that could just be like pure speculation right. of like how someone behaves once they like right. come off a of medication like i don't know if he's even on medication yeah i don't think anyone does unless they're like a close personal yeah. friend but um i don't know that's some food for thought too damn yeah that's true but i don't know i just think it's so sad i think the whole thing yeah. is so sad and i'm just like I'm honestly Horrific. sick of it. <laughs> I can just see her crying. I know. Just so sad. I know. Because it's like, especially think of like Mason. He's like a teenager who does have access to a cell phone. No, that's what I keep saying too. It's like, imagine Mason just like. Oh, really? Yeah. Just like seeing, because I've seen TikTok like, kind like of like explaining Kanye. On TikTok and like. Yeah. He, what is he like 13 or 14 now? I mean, he definitely has internet access. And if he doesn't, his, his friends, friends do. do and so. they're probably like texting and being like, what's up with your fucking yeah. uncle? I mean, the whole thing is just, I don't think he's, I think it's too, yeah. Like he's affecting so many other people yeah. other than just his own direct family. Ugh. It's just sad. Um, okay. Am I the asshole next? Yeah. Okay. Let me just do this ad really fast and we'll do, am I the asshole? Whether it's saving more and spending less, getting organized or losing weight, there's a lot of worthwhile goals to set for yourself this year. Um, and at the top of your list could be learning a new language with Babbel, the language learning app that's sold more than 10 million subscriptions. The whole Babbel process is addic addictively fun, fast, and easy. Babbel teaches bite-sized language lessons for real world use. Um, I've been using Babbel to keep learning Spanish. It's super easy to navigate. Um, they have like little fun matching games. There's conversational um, learning that happens basically right away to like help with context and know how to like have a conversation. Um, it's really fun. And I don't know, I've always liked dabbling in Spanish because I've been taking it literally. Well, I took like four years of it in high school and just kept trying to learn it. Um, Babbel's 15 minute lessons make it the perfect way to learn a new language on the go. Other language learning apps use AI for their lesson plans, but Babbel lessons were created by over 100 language experts. With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German. Plus Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you improve your pronunciation and accent. There are so many ways to learn with Babbel. In addition to lessons, you can have access to podcasts, games, videos, stories, and even live classes. Plus it comes with a 20 day money back guarantee. Start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now, when you purchase a three month Babbel subscription, you'll get an additional three months free. That's six months for the price of three. That's a crazy deal. Just go to babbel.com and use promo code OnlyFriends. That's B A B B E L dot com code OnlyFriends. Babbel language for life. Language for life. Okay, I have like a controversial. Ooh. Um, am I the asshole? Let's hear her. Also, when I click for you in photos, this is what comes up. Oh my God, it's me. <laughs> Picture of Aaron. Yucca Valley. Um, okay. Am I the asshole for refusing to get rid of my rifle? <laughs> so I, 
38 male, recently took in my friend, 30 female, to live with me temporarily while she looks for another place since her house burnt down. Now for a little backstory. I myself have a rifle that I I regularly go to the range with and that has a lot of sentimental value to me for reasons that are unrelated to this post and that I'm too lazy to type out. My friend wasn't really aware of this since it never really came up and I didn't think it was something that is important to mention. Well, a couple days ago when I went to the range and came back, Um, she asked where I was. I told her I was at the range, which surprised her. And she asked me if I could get rid of it temporarily by selling it and then buying another one later. I said, I can't since it has a lot of sentimental value to me. I offered to disassemble it, make it harm, making it harmless if it'd make her feel safe, but she refused. She then said that she doesn't feel safe living with a gun in the house and that Um, I had to get rid of it or she will move. I told her I can't. It means a lot to me. So she left. Well, I've been getting messages from mutual friends that this was an asshole move and that I can't possibly value my rifle over my friend. So am I the asshole? No. I don't think so either. Absolutely not. I understand not wanting to be in a house. But it's also not your house. It's not your house. It's not like you're in a relationship. You're a friend. If you're uncomfortable with it, go move somewhere else. Exactly. I was like, Cause like, obviously like like the whole gun thing is like a whole topic, but it's like, to me, if you like take classes or like whatever you go to the range, like that's your hobby to like use it. And like, you're offering to like disassemble it, make it harmless. Mm -hmm. That should be in my opinion, fine and dandy. But also if you don't like it, go somewhere else. Yeah. Like (laughs) it's, it would be like if someone came to stay with me and then asked me to like, get rid of get something. rid of something yeah because they, they don't didn't like, like it. it that's so ridiculous i know and it's weird that the friends are also being like you're an ass like that's you value so... that over your friend it's like well no that's not really what it is but yes. it's just <laughs> well it's yeah. a sentimental item and for them to be making him feel bad about keeping something that means something to him yeah because a guest is uncomfortable <laughs> yeah. that's them being assholes in yeah. my opinion i like aside from the gun debate like it could be anything like that's yeah. just fucked up like, oh, I don't like dogs. Like, yeah, can you please, the, like, take it to the yeah. fucking place until I'm gone? Like, no, like, obviously it's different. You can't but make him feel bad. Yeah. It's like, that's his life. That's what he enjoys. Like, yeah. let him live his life. I don't know. Oh, my God. Also, like, I don't know. <laughs> that is honestly just annoying to me that they're, like, trying to make him feel bad about that. Yeah, I thought that, too. But I was like, I don't know if you'll think the same or not. Like, yeah. I figured you would. But. No, I think that, like, if you are a gun owner, a responsible gun owner, and, like, yeah do what you need to do to keep it where it needs to be like out of harm's way and like especially has like sentimental value like we don't know maybe it was like his great grandfather's and you know like who fucking knows yeah but it seems as though he's like a responsible gun owner you know like i mean you can't really tell from that but yeah but in my mind as far as we know he is weird yeah that's a weird one what a bitch <laughs> yeah i'm like um who are you like your house burnt down and he's offering you to stay like that's you're saving a lot of money when i go to a fucking hotel or to be like not even to be like can you go like put it in storage like can you sell it yeah can you sell it and buy another one later <laughs> what like that's an outrageous question to ask somebody how do you not just feel like a asshole yourself <laughs> like how, like in what world <laughs> That's just like a full narcissist. (laughs) Totally. And I, believe me, I get both sides. Like if you are uncomfortable with like people having guns at their house, like that's totally like, I respect that. But I also respect like gun owners who are like safe about it. Yeah. Um, And that's just like a personal problem in my opinion. And that's like crazy. Yeah. (laughs) If it was like, say it was a couple and then all of a sudden, and then they have like kids. Right. And then all of a sudden one of the people wanted to bring a gun into the house and someone wasn't comfortable with it. I think that would be a different situation. It is a different conversation too. Because it's just like different. It's just different. 100%. Yeah. It's so weird. But like this is very, to me, this is very clear who the asshole is. Can you get rid of your dog, please? Because I don't like how he growls at me. I don't know. Okay. People be crazy. People do be crazy. I don't know why I said that. That was like such an old (laughs) fucking saying. People be crazy. Am I 45? Okay, sorry. Am I the asshole for not wanting to make my friend a wedding dress for cost of materials? So I have a degree in fashion, which some people think means I can be their personal seamstress. I'm used to this problem and I don't mind helping people out, but I never work for free. 
My pregnant friend recently reached out to me and asked me if I could make her her wedding dress and sent me pictures of the idea she had in mind. It isn't exactly a simple dress, but also not the most complex I've ever done either. I told her I could do it for sure, and it would cost 600 euros. She was shocked at the, I feel like that's like close to $1,000 American, but that's just for people if you wanted to know. Okay. She was I'm shocked. Like, I want to know. <laughs> she was shocked at this and told me she thought I'd do it for free and she'd just pay for materials. I pointed out how many hours this would take me to do and all the hand embroidery needed. Then I explained I was doing this for a quarter of the price I'd charge other people because she's my friend. At this point, she started to get very upset, telling me I have no idea how much stress she's under with the wedding and the fact she's pregnant and. Ha- <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. And the fact that she's pregnant and how money is tight and how this should be my wedding gift to her and how great it'd look in my portfolio. I don't think I'm being unreasonable to want some money for this, but other friends are telling me it's horrible how I'm wanting to charge her for this. And it's not like I'm a high end bridal shop. Am I being unreasonable? No, I don't think you should ever feel obligated to do something for free because you're good at it. That's like asking somebody who does hair to be like can you just do can you bleach and tone my whole head and cut it for free please because you know how to do it and we're friends yeah like that's not okay yeah i feel like it unless it's on, like the relationship yeah yeah like if it was like i don't know i don't have any friends that do hair yeah I well guess, caitlin like growing up to. her sister's a hair her sister's a hair person she would cut everyone's hair every holiday yeah. and like do whatever they want but it's like they paid for the um the cost that bought like she like the i forget what the t- or the name of it is but it's like the exact cost it's not like the upcharge that you'd pay at a salon um yeah. cost of goods i guess yeah like she'd go to like one of those like salon license place and get like a cheap cheap rate for it but yeah i don't know i just i think that i think it's rude to ask somebody to do something like that even if it's your wedding okay also the i just had to look up the conversion because i just didn't okay. know it says it's only 686 dollars in the united states for some reason i thought it was like oh. a little bit more expensive so it's six hundred dollars for a wedding. Dress. I mean, like, that's give me a cheap, fucking break. <laughs> I feel like, right? Yeah, for a wedding dress. And she's like hand making it. That's not easy work. Like, I mean, there's so much time and just like skill. Like, yeah, I would just feel bad not paying for that. Totally. You know, it's like you're saving a lot of money by. Yeah, you know what I mean. But like, then not- to dig at her and be like, it's not like you're a high end bridal shop, and it's like, yeah, but no, she also is not obligated to make you a fucking wedding dress either. Yeah, no, that person just sounds like condescending. <laughs> yeah. oh, the battery is literally dying on our video right Hopefully now. it is the pregnancy hormones, but I'm going to chalk it up to her friend being the asshole and not her. And then her friends too for telling the bride that her friend is being an asshole. Yeah. All these shitty friends. I know. They're all shitty. Bad opinions. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> I have this fear this that gonna it's going to turn off and second. like the, the footage won't be there. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, let's thank our Whitey tier. We have a Patreon. You can go uh, subscribe to that. We post bonus content every month, a few bonus podcast episodes and have a Discord and it's really fun. And there is a tier called the Whiteys and that is the top tier and we give little shout outs. So we'd like to thank Des the Psychonaut, Abigail Sandvin, Zachary Raisler, Wendy, known last name, and Elizabeth Chapman. Thank you guys so much. The podcast audio comes out on Wednesday <laughs> and the video comes out on Thursday on our YouTube channel. So make sure that you go subscribe there. Rate and review on Apple Podcasts. And we love you guys so much. Good job, though. So fast. Okay. (laughs) Bye, Bye, guys.